Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jay from True Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Fable 3. Uh, where we left off was I just, you know, got the artifact, and now I'm going to talk to Walter here about going to find the mercenaries in the mercenary camp as the, as per the second thing we have to do to get Sabine on our side. I can't pronounce names. <laughs> um, the only thing I really did while I was gone... Uh, I, I told you guys last time that I'm gonna cut off. I'm gonna go grind, do some work, buy some things. I completely forgot I can't buy. I can only buy real estate um, for now. So what I have been doing was I bought out like 80 percent of the caravans at the dweller camp. Two, I'm pretty sure. No, there's clo clothing. Yeah, I think I bought all but one. Um, and I'm just charging them rent. I'm keeping my most standard, so all the rent is at uh, normal rent here. I can go lowest, which is nothing, or low. Highest would give me the most money, which is like double what I have now. Or it is double at what I have now, but they would look very down upon me. So I'm getting, uh, I don't know how much exactly, but it's a decent amount. It's like 300, I think, um, per each time that every five minutes. And yeah, that's pretty good investment, so I'll have some good money to come back up. And now we're going to go talk to Walter and go take out those mercenaries. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Alright, let's follow him into the back of the tavern here. See what he has up his sleeve. There's a man passed out here. He's alive, but he's... One of the mercenaries. A cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence. Everybody calls him Jimmy. Clarence he's the killer. He's been drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweight, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Well, that's, um, really concerning. Uh, d <laughs> I don't want to know what those stains are. <coughs> You're not likely to convince oh, I should have. Alright, I'll wait in a second. Effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know. Okay, thanks for the uh, pep talk, and let's go do that. We have to earn 95 gold. That's just how much more we need to be able to afford these clothes, I'm pretty sure. So I th it's either going to send me to the place I need to go to get a job, or to the place where I... Yep, it's going to make me get a job. Okay, well, this is what I was doing earlier. Um, it's basically just... You just, you just, uh, just have to do some monotone uh, mini-games... That basically allow you to get money. As you go along the rule of ro the road to rule, you can get different chests that let you upgrade to like oh level three, level four. They get harder. They also yield a lot more income. Basically, and I was doing the pie maker because that's the easiest one in my opinion. All you have to do is go along and see so as blue for X A A. It's it's really simple. You have to do it sometime in the little time frame. And if you send the left side, that's how much gold I have. It tells you how much you earn every time it's successful. Like, I'll do this one. It says plus 18. That's what I have right now. And then there's a gold multiplier. So now it's going to be 4. So and from 18, now we're picking 24. It's in increments of 6. <coughs> it goes all the way up to gold multiplier 10, so I get 60 each time. That'll fetch a good price. Yep. Oh, I'll do this one more time, because I need 1,000 gold for all this. And then... There we go. Okay. Now let's press B to quit. You earned enough money here. And let's go buy it. Items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. 
Of course. Well, thank you, you Jasper. <laughs> labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so the tattoo is over in here. That's what I thought. Well, the beard is at least a mercenary beard. Let's just put it on right away. You've acquired a new suit. I would say it's the best mercenary uniform that money can buy, which is a bit ironic, really. This is all items. You do look the image of a mercenary. May have something to do with the fact that you're dressed as one. Okay. Let's leave here. It's worth every ounce of gold. By the mercenary tattoo, okay. So I believe that's in here. Nope, this is a house. <laughs> Where's the tattoo? Oh, let me give you a tash. Come on. Oh, duh. <laughs> You're paying top I'm I'm dumb. Top quality. You've got a new tattoo design available if you're feeling under a door. Okay. Good to know. Now I want hairstyles. Makeup. Facial hair. There we go. Arg mateys. <laughs> All right. We wore the we wore the costume. Now let's go find Captain Saker. This will be a fun time. So gotta go back the way we came over here. <laughs> Back to Mist Peak Valley. Every weapons enthusiast will find something to fall in love with here. Then we're making pretty good time. We got this in less than a few minutes. Um, we're recording for six minutes now, so we're still. I think it's six minutes. Eh, something like that. I'm just guesstimating. <laughs> All right, let's take a left here. Got it because the military camp is back at Mist Peak Valley. Let's go pose as a mercenary and go fuck shit up. Now you'll see something in a second, but I can either sneak in there and then get caught at the end. Or I could just start murdering everything. I don't know what I'm leaning towards, but, you know, murdering everything sounds like a fun time. Personally. It's probably just me and my sixth sense of humor, but... <laughs> that sounds like a fun time. Okay, Mist Peak Valley it is. <coughs> Alright, sorry, I'm, I'm still coming down a little cough. Uh, if you watch my Arkham, well, you would know about that. Never mind, I'm not going to say anything. Ignore, ignore what I said. Arkham is a made-up word, I swear. <laughs> so let's just follow this little trail and our pup. I really honestly enjoy how they have a little itty-bitty puppy every single time. It just melts my heart. It's like, oh, he's useful and he's fucking adorable. God, I love it. Um, I'm not going to spoil it because I might still play Fable 2, but there is a scene near the end that makes me cry every time. Like this if you has the feels. <laughs> or so not that it's like like this if you cry every time you can I shoot this bird nope okay take a spot where oh I'm on top of it I gotta look like a pirate bearing treasure right now just they'll never get to me booty <laughs> Woo! I will not complain about more gold all right Fine, Captain. C yeah, yeah, I know. Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. Thank you very kindly, sir. Eh, I think I'm gonna try to be sneaky, sneaky for a little bit. J just to save myself some further pain. But yeah, I love these signs in the back because as you go progress through the game, um, it it it's more or less. Like in co uh, coherent, coherent as coherent as the word with what you're doing. Like, oh, if you have the revolution started, there's the posters of Logan. Just, <laughs> it's I can't even explain it. You'll just have to see for yourself. You've been drinking in Brightwall again. Don't let anybody tell you drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then. Thank you very much, sir. You are spared for now. Why are they fighting? I don't know. I'm ignoring it. You. 
different somehow. Your eyes always that color. Nah, Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes. Beautiful. <laughs> well, that's gay as hell. That's not him. It's not Jimmy. Smack you one. Now oh. it's payback time. There we go. I'll just do this. They'll keep their bay. Hopefully. What a magnificent strike. There we go, okay. Oh, I forgot about that. They all dead? They're all dead. Alright, run through. I forgot about explosive barrel or Yeah. There we go. I'm just gonna stand back here and do my thing. Oh, you hurt my fucking puppy. No, you're done. I fucking. I blocked, I held X. God, you're fucking with my dog, it's pissing me off, guys. Yeah, Oi is right. Just for the fun of it. Can't blow that up, apparently. Oh, there you are. I can kill them from a distance, though. That's for sure. Alright. Let's keep running through here. See, this is where, this is your first real piece of action. What, dig spot? Okay. Lead me to a pup. The more the merrier. And dig, 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 dig. What do we have here? Uh, mercenary left leg tattoo. That might come in handy because I've t I found that if I die, some of the uh, um, the mercenary clothes, like a, I, I like to do like a, a nice white badass color personally, and I think it looks really cool. With like a white facial hair, like all black with just the red. There we go. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I'm aware. Blocking's for the weak. Okay, as I'm dying. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know and I don't want to know. Alright, making our way downtown. Walking fast. Fucking wolves, what? They're different wolves, they're white wolves. Alright, total kills. Soaring has got it on me, but you know, that's okay. Plenty of time. Alright, moving along, moving along. <laughs> there we go. I like things that go boom. Alright, need a little trusty chesty doodles here. Let's open that up quickly. Yeah, pooch, I know. You know, I never really named my dog. I'm gonna call him Scruffles. Scruffles the dog, that seems appropriate. What's that, boy? Timmy stuck in a well. Alright, what are we digging up here? We are digging up the mercenary back to- I'm just getting all the mercenary tattoos, like, in the world, man. In the world! Alright. Leave him! He's mine! You've left quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Alright, this is where we fight the big man himself. Where he throws fucking Molotov cocktails. Cocktails at you, though. God damn it. Oh, fuck off with those.
How come every big boss just has like some kind of shockwave shockwave move? Without fail. So I'm not talking a whole lot, this is just I'm just getting antsy. Oh god. This is intense. This is my first God, I am not doing very well. Alright, come on, come on. Obviously you're blocking. Come on, stop with that bullshit. Okay, Shockwave. Come on, come on, come on! Don't, I didn't even see it. It sounds like a grenade going off. Like, I didn't even hear, like, the pin pulling. Nope, you got me on that one. And that one. Are you dead yet? Can you be? Okay, I'm gonna use this. Not even, oh, I just wasted that because I'm just swinging back and forth for some reason. I'm injured. I'm gravely injured. Roll. Roll away. I wish enemies had health bars. Because I'm gravely injured right now. Okay, in Fable, sorry, I'm, I'm not talking a whole lot, I apologize. You see, in Fable 2, when you died, um, you, you came back, if, but if you didn't have a potion, um, there we go. You got battle scarred. In this game, you don't get scarred, um, you just lose all your guild steals, I think. Stop! You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live, it's your choice, and my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Well, I'm gonna spare you, because that's a good thing to do. <laughs> Smack in the face. <laughs> that's where we become friends. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the strength you better go. not. There we go. Rule of road time. I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, let's go to the road to rule, and then we'll see what's on there. What do you have to say to Mary Teresa? You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. I would hope so. <laughs> Alright, we have 78 guild seals. Let's see what we can get with this. We have the Lover Expression Pack, Family Pack, House Buying. I might as well get it. I'll have kids and wife eventually. Okay, let's go for that. And we got melee level two, range level two. Is that was that forty? Okay, I might have to just do that. Blacksmith level two, pie maker level two, loot. Okay, this for sure because pie making pie making is my jam. That's the one I'm good at. Blacksmithing is not really. Alright, we'll do that, and then magic, and I'll go for range, because I can afford that one. What I'm really hoping is that the next gate that we open is the entrepreneur pack, so we can start buying businesses. And, okay, look at the gun. Let's look at it. Just look at it! It is now sparkling and badass. Okay, that's all we can really do here, so... Oh, wrong one. Okay, 
Let's run forward. So I think we did pretty good. You know, we cranked out an entire mercenary camp slaughter <laughs> within this entire aspect of time that we've had here. Oh, uh, we did pretty good. We're learning more about the story. So we got the artifact so far. Which they spelled artifact weird for some reason. We have the artifact, and then we have. Your first victory in battle. Ooh, it's a trophy. On personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing <laughs> you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brighton, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Sounds good, and we're gonna cheat here, actually. Sir Walter is still waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fast travel to the pub. Yeah, I was, I was just randomly anywhere. Because after this, then we have to talk to Walter, and then we have to do some other crap. And then Brightwall will share their um, resources with Mist Peak. And yeah, that's what's going to happen. Okay. So for right now, guys and gals, we're going to call this a very piratey episode. Thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you had just as much fun as watching as I did playing. Um, and I will catch you guys later in the next episode. Peace out!